My name is Ranjit. I'm an Agile coach at Moss & Lichens. And today I would like to talk to you about a flow metric called cycle time, which comes from Kanban and is also used in Scrum teams. Now let me tell you a story about cycle time. I was part of a support team and we had a service level agreement. And this one was a very strict service level agreement, especially for critical bugs on production. They had to be solved in four hours. But guess what? Our team was so in the flow that our cycle time was two hours. When a critical bug came in, we analyzed it, fixed it, and put a hot fix on production within two hours over more than three to six months. Now, our team was proud of the cycle time of when an issue started and when it finished. What about your team? Do you know the cycle time in your team? Depending on whichever system you're using for issue management, there are many ways to find out the cycle time. And I would recommend you do that because when you do that, you can actually know for yourself as a team and for those outside the stakeholders that if I put in a story into this team, I can derive value out of it in this much time, be it in hours, days or weeks. And that is a very nice feeling to know when you put in something and you can take out something.